Okay, thank you for uh, part two uh, to ESO Academy setting up quick uh, campaign for a special occasion is a Father's Day. So we have here uh, right now some keywords we have selected for uh, one of the ad groups. Uh, this is how we started. We just show our teammates how we uh, have organized the ad groups. We have a lot of ad groups as you can see. So we have uh, created all those drawers. And now we're going to go to the gift ideas for that. Uh, gift ideas for that. Uh, uh huh. Uh, and we're going to add the keywords plus, uh -huh. and then we're going to go to our spreadsheet and we're going to copy the keywords that we have manually selected for this master spreadsheet of um, um, 3,000 plus keywords. Uh, we have also identified some negative keywords. Uh, that's going to be a next part. Okay, so let's copy those keywords. Thank you. Let's paste them. Thank you. Good. Let's save them. Uh-huh. Um, and let's select all of them quickly and uh, edit and change the match type. Match types, we'll change the match types. Uh, match types, uh -huh. we'll change them to phrase, from broad to phrase. No, from broad, no, 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 from, from broad, uh huh, to phrase, uh huh. And we'll apply this. This is how we want to start when we are testing new keywords. Uh, we're going to also change the settings of the, on a campaign. Quickly, <clears throat> so we're gonna go to top right, all campaigns, uh huh, all campaigns, uh huh. Let's go out from this drawer. Let's go oh, to the Father's Day, Father's Day promo. And let's see, click on the settings now to the left hand side. So we are now in the settings for Father's Day promo. Goals, select the goal sales, go. S sales, uh huh, save. And then let's do um, the countries, United States. Uh, we can add more locations. Let's add states such as California, Arizona, uh, location, uh, enter, enter another location, advanced search. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and let's do California. Okay. Let's do Arizona, Nevada. So what we're going to do is we're going to select some of the states that are close by our client mm -hmm. that, you know, we can, uh, let's make sure we are selecting the states, not like universities. Okay. Oh, that, that Arizona doesn't look right uh, a... by the millions. Boo -boo. Um, so we need to select those uh, because we, we're we going to try to beat a little bit more money on those ones that are closer to our customers. Shipping expenses mm -hmm. are lower and there is an option for, you know, uh, delivery if, if somebody is really local. And also, you know, uh, brand recognition locally. Uh, we have some local products and, uh, you know, some products that are uh, perishable. Okay, so we, we select some states. We'll save this quickly. Uh, and now we're going to go down there. Uh, bidding strategy, we're going to change that quickly. Bidding strategy, let's change this. Uh, bidding, bidding, uh-huh. Uh, change bid, bid strategy, change, uh-huh. We're going to go to on the top drop-down menu. Uh-huh, quickly, yeah, we'll do maximize clicks. So right now we're going to try to first maximize clicks to start. And as soon as we get some more data, we're going to see if there will be a better strategy. We'll do experience. Uh, we, you guys are going to learn at the next set of, you know, advancing your uh, Google ad campaign. So we'll save that quickly. And uh, demographics, uh, audience, uh, we, we're going to now hold off on that. Let's go back to our ad groups. And let's go back to our um, ideas and let's finish this quickly, uh, this portion. Uh, so we have a keyboard. Now what we need to do is add and add extension. So let's go to the ads and add extensions and remember the keywords we are after. So those keywords that we have select is those are basically the keywords that are going to trigger the ads uh, and the ad sets that we're going to create. So we're going to add a new ad. We're going to click on the plus, uh, right? And this is an expert uh, creating a campaign. This is not you creating a campaign starting you know google ads.com and then you start you know start my campaign what are your goals uh, when the computer leads you this is like you know what you want and you're just actually be doing it right so that's why it might look different for, for you guys that what are you guys too used to looking at it but when experts create campaign they, they don't go by the by the visa right like first step second step they just go straight to it uh deep just like you're learning right so we're going to create the responsive app right now uh, that's going to be our number one ad. And uh, we're going to pass this to uh, to Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, he is, uh, as we hear, he is also director of uh, PR and content, digital content and website depot. 
So now yeah. where we were landing on is where you first created. It's going to ask you to create an ad. Now, for those of you, just so we, we, we cover everything of how to go to um, how to make another one or how to keep creating them, this is where you're going to go to is under your ads. Make sure that you're under your ad groups is that you're under that right one that you want to edit. So as you see here, we have put in our keywords. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, search terms. That does not come in yet until we see that. But here's everything that we put in here. And we'll delete the Christmas one. Don't worry. Like, that, that'll be easy. Basically, I could just pause it or delete it. Both of those work. Now we'll go back to the ads here. Now we haven't created one yet, so we'll go to make the responsive ad. This is very important because this is going to allow you to reach out to a lot more people rather than a text ad that only has three headlines. This is going to allow you to do um, like, I don't know, about 10 headlines right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12 so it gives you a lot of stuff to work with and what this is going to do is going to save you a lot of time in putting in those keywords um, versus having to make like say five of these ads and putting in only three headlines this is going to allow you to put in all the headlines and what it does is it's going to match up people's searches to your ad so it'll pick like the three best ones using google artificial intelligence now we'll go and do this here um copying the link so this is going to be our landing page Page here is the final URL. Now the display URL is going to be a little bit different here. Um, we should make it something creative that draws people in. This is not going to be the actual one, but it's actually going to be, um, uh, let's see, for, so like Father's Day. Um, Father's Day present ideas. Father's Day. Let's see which one's the best one. Father's Day gifts, for example. And then always keep in mind, we have some limited space here. So Father's Day is a big tag here. Um, let's see. Show a few more. Present. And then gift ideas right here. Now, what we're going to do is let's be clever about this is um, some of these are standalones. They don't really make English sense. So we want to make these into taglines that are going to draw people in too. So we want to use those keywords and include them in. Um, but at the same time, um, we're going to be um, making English sense, you know. Um, here's what I do. This is one little trick that I do personally is I'll go ahead and duplicate this. Um, and then I'll head out of there. Watch. It's going to take me to the same place. Now what I do side by side, and depends how you do it. Now I'm going to get out of this here, keep in mind, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to backtrack. Here's my little cheat sheet of how I do this. Now I'm on this gift ideas for dad, and then I'll go to keywords. What are my keywords? And what I do is uh, this meeting thing's a little in the way. I might do like a little half screen here. And then I do a little half screen here. I do a Windows uh, left and right. So what I do here is I get to see both of them here. So I see the full list rather than what you see here. Um, that's just my little thing, but you might have your own more comfortable way of doing that. Um, so let's see. Um, we could start in really any order because Google AI is going to put this out in the order uh, or according to the relevance of the, of the person searching. So Father's Day. see so shop is like an action word shop uh <coughs> father's day craft eyes craft ideas right here is what i'm picking out so these are kind of like the easier ones you're gonna have to do it within 30 characters here and what's good is most of these here are about 30 characters so you just kind of got to add in something that's like kind of actionable um, so right now I can't, I'm really out of space here, so I can't really like add, um, great or buy that kind of stuff. Cause if I did that, I'd be going over here. So you don't want to do that. So we're kind of limited to that. Um, but let's take a look. Um, great gift. 
great gift ideas for father. So as you see, we picked these out because we know a lot of people are searching for them. So um, great. So also keep in mind for those that are doing this the first time, don't feel that this is so daunting that like uh, you have to fill out all of them. You don't have to, but the more the better. The more um, that you fill out, the more options people are going to have to match with it. And the better it's going to convert, the more you have. So um, keep that in mind. And also, if you have a large keyword list, this gives you more of an opportunity to hit on hit upon each of those keywords. Um, so let's see. Father's Day ideas from wife. Let's see. Hmm. This is kind of stuff like the stuff of like with the wife or the cute Father's Day ideas is something that I would add probably to the description where we have more space. So um, it won't look so good, I think, just by my discretion in, in the headline itself. So let's get in some of those that will look good in the headline and then we'll go ahead and like get, get the, the cute Father's Day ideas here. Like... Um, For, for example, I'm going to be jumping a little bit around and you could go back and forth how you please. Um, shop from a great selection of, say, okay, let's see, cute, no, let's see. That dad will love. So you see what I did there is basically I snuck one of those keywords in. Good Father's Day gifts that dad will love. So it makes English sense and all. Um, good Father's Day's gift, it kind of it's not like great or the best or anything, but I mean, it'll work because people are looking for that too. So that's kind of what we're going for too. And we're going to have a lot more opportunities to do that. As you see here, because of dynamic ads, we could add more descriptions here. Um, yeah, this is the limit that we have here. But uh, So four times 90. So that's a lot of words and it's a lot of opportunities to get these keywords in here. Um, let's see. Uh, Father's Day give back let's see uh we have a great let's take your basket ideas And if somebody can, um, that's on with me, maybe Angie, because you work with them, um, they are customizable, right? I believe I saw that on the website. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Um, so when you do a gift basket for somebody, you could choose the stuff that you, you put in there, right? Yes, from what I okay. know, Okay, yes. for you to customize, okay. So how do you think that sounds like as, 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 a, as a sentence, standalone sentence? We have, okay, let's start over here. We have a great Father's Day gift. We have A, let's take out A. That makes more sense. We have great Father's Day gift basket ideas all available for you to customize. Yeah, that sounds good. And then let's see. Um, choose Dad's favorite. No, maybe not. That's not going to fit. Up now, maybe something like that. Or maybe we could fit one of these in here. But if it doesn't make sense, let's not, Sorry. Let's not really force it in there. Hi. Happy Father's Day gifts. We, we can also answer people's, uh, you know, uh, question. Mm -hmm. They're asking about ideas. We can call out some ideas, you know. Mm -hmm. Unique, unique gift basket for Malibu, uh, you know, coffee or truffles with wine accessories or wine tasting, 
or you know like some of those things that makes us unique mm -hmm. um, as well as you know uh, ideas so there were and also yeah something that will help too as a practice um, along with what Danny is saying is here's another thing that I do to, to hopefully um, raise the quality score here which is I'm, I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna go take a look at it but I want to do it in a different window actually let's go do it over here I'll go go ahead and jump on to where it's going we'll do you have a different okay. one. we have a photo uh, yeah I see that now I'm gonna head over there and so that's that's part of the importance of doing this is double checking that too so let, let's go ahead and change that and see if we got more matches here and I'll do that on this Father's Day landing page it's always good to, to have it like right right on uh, right on topic and then as you see this is actually a title here and then if you want to be like really um, match it up well too is like putting great Father's Day's gifts Up, great Father's Day gifts, and that puts in most of it. So, say somebody does that one too, it's going to match it up here. Um, sweet gift box. Ooh, wine tasting is a good one. You can do a couple with the brand mentioning as well. You see, Google is suggesting as valuable gift and something extra. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's see. Oh, that's too much. Boxes. Okay, that customizable is a word. That's this is actually an error from them. That's but I would just put like a, you know, like, smart. okay, maybe try another one. Put You can put many, you can put another one, maybe like a unique, you know, it's like a brand new story mm -hmm. session. You said Google's going to pick up like unique, you know, unique Father's Day uh, Malibu gift, you know, or gifts for Malibu or, you know, something like that. So the way you have some brand mention uh, and people, when they're searching for ideas, they're like, yeah, maybe I, I will get my dad something from Malibu, you know, he... He talks about being to at in California in you know mm -hmm. 2003 or whatever. You know? uh, so we can use cute, simple, mm -hmm. personalized. Yeah, let's use a few of those that we haven't used yet, and I can go back here to look at that. Like the one that said cute, cute Father's Day gift ideas. I think that could go well here too. Um, let's Does see. Does it matter how long the descriptions are? So you I mean, want to get them as long as possible. Yeah. You'll see, but you know, this is right now like a kind of a, like a draft. We're like setting yeah. it up mm -hmm. just to fill it up. Because once you go through all the ad groups, right, and you get to like, a, you know, ad group five or six, like Zeke is saying, some mm -hmm. of those things are going to kind of be repeating or they'll be like just word a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we'll now progress. You see how we all, all got those check marks? Maybe you give us a couple more ideas and then we're done with this. Oh, yeah. We can go to the next section. Yeah, let's let, now. Yeah, next thing. Yeah, this is always good to follow what it says here. So let's see what it says here. Add more headlines. Okay, maybe like two more, and then it'll like it. I think. Well, actually, wait. Include popular keywords in your headlines. We need to look at that spreadsheet that we've made. Popular I keywords. Uh, yeah, I, I have that open. Let me get that one second. I have it open here. We didn't put uh, like gift ideas for that. We didn't use. Here that. we go. That we forgot about that. Uh, and that good, we put good, we put great. Great dad gifts for sale online, maybe. Great dad. Yeah. 
Oh, too much uh, for sale. Or how about this? Ship to dad. There we go. Perfect. Angelica, any, okay. any, any other headline you would like to use? Yeah, think of one. Maybe use this as a, as maybe a guide. So these are ones that we're going to add later to negative, mm -hmm. but these are some of the better ones. Homemade gift ideas. Oh, that's a good one. Isn't that kind of controversial though? Because you're not technically making it homemade. I don't know. They, they do though. They make it at home, right? Or it's like homemade stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we could, yeah, that's a good one. Homemade fathers. Yeah. You, that as a standalone could be a headline. So let's try that. It's too long. Let's just say that then. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Anything else? And then they say a little keywords in your descriptions and then we'll be good. So we pause here. Great dad too. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Treat dad to the best Father's Day. Yes. Okay, so now we have that. Let's okay. save this ad and let's go add. Uh, okay. Let's save it. Let, we won't create another one. Okay. Uh, we could skip for now, right? Yeah. Skip. Uh oh, it's going to make me do it. No, just, put, just click uh, cancel. Yeah. And that one is that was, okay, that one's it. Uh, is it? You have a filter, their popcorn. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for, the popcorn. Let me cancel that. Uh, remove, remove, remove. Just click on the X where it says popcorn. Yeah. There we go. So it's under review right now, right? Let's say, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's now go and add uh, some ad extensions quickly. Sure thing. So we will apply it only to this uh, ad group? No, we can do account wise because this is the first ad group we're doing. Okay. Oh, it looks like we need to create some because yeah. not that many are. Um, site links are good. We can maybe add these. Um, no, we're just going to plus. Uh, we can add to this ad group, yeah. But uh, uh, gourmet truffles, yeah, that's good. Uh, we'll add it to the account. Oh, it already exists. So let's let's see. let's add a new one. Let's create a new one. Um, so calls, locations. Let's do the call out. Let's start with a call out. Okay. Call outs are very good, uh, and we can show them, uh, you know, quickly what a call outs are. Call outs are like you see, like. Uh, after description, Google's gonna, you know, pick up s mm -hmm. some heavy words, and you can use, you know, at least four callouts, account level, campaign level. Mm -hmm. There should always be filled in when you start campaign with Google, right? So, we may give boxes. Great Father's Day. We can use Father's Day ones. We can also use, uh, you know, what what we have. You know, coffee, gourmet popcorn, uh, and then truffles. Um, gift boxes, um, wine ex wine tasting accessories, you know. Oof. Oh. That doesn't work, does it? Just put gourmet coffee and just add more. They don't have to be like 25 characters. Because if they're going to be shorter, Google's going to just show more of them. I think they have truffles and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Nope. Popcorn and truffles will work. Um... About gourmet chocolate gifts. So call outs are first first call extensions, 
everyone should uh, you know put in or are any others because call call uh, call outs are right after the description right mm -hmm. so that balloons your ad and uh, takes more real estate property on a google search result page if you go right now we search for father's day uh, gift ideas mm -hmm. for example in google quickly we can show them which which uh, wording we will use and maybe we can see if there is anything else uh, that other people are using that we have forgotten so if we go search for uh, you know father's day gift ideas uh, uh, and we see, you know, uh, Etsy, Etsy Father's Day gift ideas. A good one. You see the, the call outs right now uh, will be made and sold by real people, independent creators, uh, decor, and more. You see all of those underneath Etsy ad, those are call outs, right? Mm -hmm. And only uh, Etsy ad shows the call outs right now out of the first four ads. Yeah. Angelica and Ellie, did you guys see first four ads? That means they did the extra work. Yes. Yeah. See. see, the Etsy is the only one that has like call outs mm -hmm. showing on their ads and the site links underneath the ad. Mm -hmm. see, this is what we are after. We would like to get those out there, get more space, higher click through ratio, and more conversion, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. adding this extra step would help with conversions, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. And quality score, see with Google, everything depends together, right? More you fill in information, call out, side link extensions, negative keywords, more information you give Google, more information they have to learn about your product, what, how to advertise it, uh, higher your quality score, and less money you spend per click because you you set it up good, so they reward you and they let you advertise cheaper, you know what I mean? Okay. So those are that. Uh, now we can add oh, maybe. I was a on mute. <laughs> Sorry, I had a question. <laughs> yes. Or did you guys mute me? I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, you know, in the results where you just searched uh, Father's Day, and yes. then it, the first one, the Etsy one, has a call out or whatever. By default, do the others just show up as like a description they already had? Yeah, the first, the like Google's gonna guarantee you that's gonna show your your uh, display URL, right? your header uh you know basically two headers and uh, one description this is what you get minimum that's a minimum what you get for paying per click uh but then if you if it shows call outs and site links it means you're doing uh, good and it wants to show more right not necessarily number one gets everything you know it depends sometimes number one and three get you know it's 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 up to google you know uh auction because each time somebody searches the inquiry happens, Google runs auction, right? And mm -hmm. this is how we are looking right now at the certain call outs and extensions. We see a phone extension right, right there under uncommongoods.com, mm -hmm. uh, which we're not going to use for our mm -hmm. customers. They don't want phone calls, yeah. uh, you know? E um, there are more e-commerce, right? Uh, There's some there. more. And there is some more ads on the bottom. You see some of them have more site things. You see Esquire has 55 best gift for that. If you're going to have like a specific landing page, uh, that we can have, uh, you know, type of 10 unique gift ideas from Malibu and first Father's Day gifts, you see? Those are all site links. Uh, and those guys got two descriptions. You see how description is, is longer plus a couple call outs, uh, best of 2020, reviews, rating, affordable. You see, that those are usually call outs. You can calculate the characters to kind of figure it out. Uh, mm -hmm. So call outs are important. Um, and then you see a uh, gift advisor on the top has also extension uh, schema. No, no, no. The, the, the first ad on the bottom ad. Uh, ah. no, no, on the bottom ad. Yeah, this one has to see it says uh, gold gifts, best of 2018, more gifts under 25, this for that more. Those are schema extensions. If you click on that more down there, more, 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 more. Mm -hmm. See, this is schema. Oh, nice. see? That's like a product yes. schema. Automatically, you can from search. You see how much space this ad got? A lot of space, right? Mm -hmm. So Angelica asked if you want to fill everything in. Of course, you wanna, you know, you wanna advertise as best as you know to your knowledge. Fill, fill in everything you know how to fill in properly, so then Google can, you know, show you like that. You know, just like others, nothing less, right? Why would you want to do less if you're just as them equal? They have the same login like you. You know what I mean? They have the same options like you. 
you're competing against them. So, you, you know, you, you, should, you should try to be better than them, you know, not just as good as them. Yeah. Um, and that's the catch. Okay, so let's save these extensions and let's show them a couple other extensions quickly. Uh, there so, we go. Uh, Zig, let's add a couple side links. And, Here it is. Uh, let's add. Um, now they do have to get reviewed, but let's say let's make sure that it does get added to um, the Father's Day here. Add group Father's Day. Oh, we can put them for all the Father's Day. Why not? Right. Yeah, I usually do this at the end when I am done right. with all the extensions. You know. Okay. So just do uh, all of them. and then so let's see. Um, let's add another one. But it's good that oh. you did that. Yeah. So what uh, he showed you guys right now, you can do this for each each time you're adding them, like manually, mm -hmm. and add for all of them, like he suggested. Uh, you know, and then you're gonna have to do it again. Right now we're gonna add side links. We're gonna add some others quickly. We're gonna have mm -hmm. to do the same with them. You know? So here's a site link extension. It's basically what you see up here that Etsy did. That's these. So I'll pick something that like goes along with it. Um, it's a good one. Maybe wine tasting. Wine tasting gifts for dad, maybe. I, I yeah, but they that. do wine fine, and you know, uh, they do this uh, wine. I don't know why those things are showing up over here, but yeah. Wine like, tasting gift. I can say this wine. wine. That would be a good Father's Day present. Why yeah, you let's see, let's see. Let's I'll make it number two. And then I'll put the URL from up here. Always use the exact one from up here. Copy that over. And then think of a nice description here. And then also you could use some keywords too. Um, so the site link extension has a header, right? Where the hyperlink is going to be... Uh, a blue and then he has description one yeah a short you know short description and description two sometimes going to show one sometimes going to show two right yeah. and it previews you you know you see a preview on the right hand side exactly mm -hmm. uh, where is what and you see right now after after we have filled in a um a first uh, extensions right homemade gifts mm -hmm. gourmet gift boxes great for father's day gourmet coffee gift boxes those are now also showing up uh, showing up to us as a preview see on the top mm -hmm. Gift ideas for dad. Let's see, wine pours. Aerators are a hot thing. People that are really into wine, like I would never drink wine without aerating it. What's aerate? How do you do that? It's like a little filter thing that puts air into it. Does it change the quality of the wine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it cleans it, and then it also like uh, messes with the texture, like in a good way. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to call out people that are into wine to pick up this page and see those products, right? Uh, that's what you're trying to do with those side things. So after these extensions, okay. uh, try to save, and Steve's gonna complain that you, side thing one is missing. Hmm, it might or might not. Let's see, save it. No, I didn't complain. No, it'll it'll just do two. Google got smart. So after those okay. add extensions, what else we want to add is snippet uh, site extension. If you put plus, yes. uh, uh, and then we want to do, uh, but don't click on it yet. Um, mm, well, uh, location extension we would use for local business. Call extension we will use for people that want to get phone calls. App extension we will use for people that promote app. Price extension we can use because we have, uh, you know, pr uh, pr uh, products. Mm -hmm. and we can use promotion extensions because we're going to have promotion. Uh, but let's go now to the, the so after the extensions are completed and, you know, for, for all the ad groups uh, and um, after uh, all the keywords are inputs for all the ad groups, uh, we're going to go back to the keyword section there and we're going to start filling in negative keywords uh, section. It's very important. Mm -hmm. um, negative keywords. We already have two negative keywords that we want to add. Christmas. We'll pause that too. Um, Here are negative keywords. We have yeah, a list. Let's copy those five that we have on a spreadsheet. Um, that would be here. Mm -hmm. So we could do it in bulk, I believe, right? If I do this. Yeah. But we just we'll want to put. Uh, 
Pinterest and painting, decoration, shirt, all of those just on a broad individual. Okay. On a clean level. So do them. And then Angelica has more negative keywords for us, right, Angelica? Yeah, like DIY, um, crafts, um, free, handmade, yeah, free, um, cheap. <laughs> I mean, we, we are, I mean, aren't they cookies handmade, Ellie? Yeah. And it should be but, fine, right? Sure. Yeah, but but handmade is more like I don't know if it would apply. You know what I mean? Like yes, okay. it's technically handmade, but it's not what people are actually searching for. When I think handmade, I think I'm gonna oh, thing. Huh? Okay, let's put handmade then. Um, free job. You okay. know, just just in case someone's gonna have. Part of the jobs, you know. Um, but how to? How to? Yeah. Those are kind of the universal negative keywords. Yeah. YouTube jobs. Video. Create app. Articles, books, journals. Good. Program schools. Oh, schools is always. Yeah. What is the yeah, schools, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna have Apple all ideas, those ideas, art. Uh, okay, so there are spread, spreadsheets and lists of all the negative keywords we can use. We have them on our S Academy website. You can download them. Uh it's come for the service businesses, right? So you get uh, rid of telemarketers. Um okay, so we save those ad groups. Let's put them on a on a I mean on a, a, a campaign level, please, those negative keywords. Okay. And that covers all of them there, right? Yeah. Wonderful. And then we'll save them. Save them. So this is this is go. basically what we need to do uh, for all of those ad groups. And after we're going to complete that, we'll return to you to section basically four or a, or quickly and effectively set up a Google Ads campaign mm -hmm. for uh, uh, special cases such as Father's Day, Mother's Day, Black Friday.